Welcome to the How to Apply Logos and Borders video. Now we're going to go over the ink application phase of the project. Depending on what you're going to do, logo, border, or anything that you're going to have to do with coloring of your decadence uh, floor mats, it's going to be with this type of product. We use Marsh ink. You can go to the recommendations page, which will explain to you where you can buy it and how to use it. We're also going to use a two-part clear from Rust-Oleum and your regular household blow dryer. First, what we're going to do is we're going to grab the black ink and paint in the logo or whatever you're going to be doing with it. Then you're simply going to get the blow dryer, put it on high, run it over really quickly. All the blow dryer does is accelerate the drying process. I go with the clear coat. And again, one more time with the blow dryer. And again, don't be afraid to put a lot of heat on it. And now you're going to see you get no ink on your hands at all. So there goes your logo or your border or whatever else you're wanting to put onto the decadence. Okay, some really cool things too that you can think about with decadence, not only for marine, but as you know earlier, I ordered a little extra, as you can see here, because I want to do something really special inside the house. So come on and follow me. Okay, so you might have heard of Aqua Rug, which you can get at Bed Bath & Beyond or places like that. What we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to go wall to wall. So this is for my son's shower. Basically what I want to do is just measure it out really quick, which I know it's going to be three foot seven and a half by two foot two foot four. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just cut a two my son's shower. Okay, as you can see, I've measured everything out and we're gonna go ahead and cut this, doing the same exact method as we did with the marine floor. Again, cutting it at just a slight angle. It's always a good idea to order a little bit extra so you can actually practice your logos or whatever kind of design you're gonna do on your actual mat of your, of your boat beforehand. So with this, since we're setting up my son's bathroom, we're gonna go ahead and do a logo on this and it also is gonna help me prepare myself for when I go on to the main part of the boat. Next, what we've done, is we've taken painter's tape, outlined the perimeter of the application, in this case, a shower mat. The inch and a half width of the painter's tape will actually be used as a guideline for our border. In other words, that determines the width. Now, we take the Oracle 751C high performance cast film, which can be acquired from any sign shop, and apply it to the surface of the PVC extrusion. It grips to the loops, and when heated up, it will embed itself in the extrusion itself, making sure that you get a very defined, clear line for your border. We do this around the entire perimeter. Then, we simply tape it off and cover it up and get it ready for the inking process. Now, we'll remove the painter's tape, and in doing so, it exposes our border. The Oracle 751 high performance cast film is still secured to the surface. Now, all we do is simply heat the surface itself, specifically around the perimeter of the film. By heating up the Oracle surface, it allows it to grip and grab with more cohesion to the extrusion surface. Next, we simply apply the ink in the fashion that's being illustrated. The next step is we dry and we accelerate the drying process with the blow dryer. Now we apply the clear coat. In this case, we're using a gloss because we really want those colors to pop. And the final step is using the blow dryer once again to accelerate the drying time of the clear coat. Now we simply remove the Oracle film and look at the nice, clean border and look at the contrast between the border itself and the mat. It couldn't get any better. Next, we will be applying the logo stencil itself. Now, keep in mind that you can acquire just about any logo on the internet. You can either Google it, or you can specifically have on our recommendations page, there's some recommendations and also some artists that can create a customized logo for you. However, in each and every case, try to make sure that it's a vector file. So if you want a brand name, say on Google, you would enter that brand name and say vector file. 
or vector image. Chances are you'll be able to download it directly from the internet. Once you've decided what logo you want for your boat, simply contact a nearby sign shop. Just make sure they have the Oracle, the high performance cast film, or the equivalent. In most cases, this vinyl adhesive is the same vinyl they use for vehicle wraps. In this case, we decided to use the Sea Ray logo. We simply downloaded it from the internet and then sent it on to the sign shop. They were able to print us a stencil on the high performance cast film and we're using it going forward. I got two of these. One's gonna be for my son's mat for his bathroom and the other one's gonna be for our customer. But we wanted to show you, you can do this for your front door, for your shower. Decadence has applications for everywhere. All you're simply gonna do is peel and stick. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna measure it on both sides so we make it about equal on either side. And then we're just gonna mark it so we know where we're gonna be laying it down. Super easy. And it really doesn't take any time. I'll do that on all four corners. So now with the 3M product, all you're gonna do is you're gonna pull it. And you can see that it comes off really quite easily. Remember that this is the sticky side. The sticky side's gonna be on the 3M side. So it'll be very easy to tell. Be really careful because it's really, really, really sticky. So as you can see, I pulled it off. The 3M uh, part of the product is off. So this is all sticky. So now I have to make sure I align everything correctly. Make sure it's exactly where you want it. Now when you're laying this down, you want to make sure that you apply a lot of pressure. It's never too much really, because you want to make sure that it adheres everywhere. So you want it to stick on all the cornering and everything, so it's going to be less of a problem for you. Press it flat, because now you're going to be pulling this piece off of the actual logo. Again, we're not really too concerned with the exterior part, because what we're looking for is here, is actually C-Ray, and the design that C-Ray uh, incorporates. Now, once I've laid this down, I'm gonna start pulling this piece off here. And obviously, you don't wanna you want to take your time. You don't need to be rushing. We're not in any kind of a hurry. And you don't wanna damage the logo. And then you're just gonna systematically move it down. And you're gonna take your time, nice and easy. Okay, as you're pulling, you wanna make sure that you're pulling straight back. You don't wanna be pulling up. When you're pulling up in an up motion, you'll have a tendency to pull the piece that you're wanting up off the off the mat so you want to pull it straight back especially how detailed depending on how detailed your uh, piece is there might be something coming up like this all you do is just simply pull it tack it down and again you want to keep moving very slowly again we're not in any hurry we want to make sure that it's the proper design and you continue moving on now that we have the vinyl down and the c-ray stencil is clearly where we want it. It's just a matter of heating it up and making sure that the vinyl itself, especially around the edges, adheres to the surface of decadence. Now I've gone ahead and I've, I've blow dried everything with, with the hot, make sure that everything's kind of melted into place, and now I'm ready to apply the ink. Again, I'm gonna do a little bit of design, uh, just kind of fading with colors, but you can do anything that you like. You can also notice that I went ahead and I marked off some of the bordering here just for overspray because I've already sprayed this on the exterior. So first thing I'm gonna do is with my darkest colors first. And I'm just gonna kinda of start from the bottom and I'm just gonna kinda of fade it in. Then I'm gonna to go to my medium color which is gonna be red. Always using your darkest colors first and moving up to your lightest colors. And finally, your lightest color, which is gonna be what we're using is yellow. And you're just gonna go kind of over everything as you move in to your final color of the application. And all I'm simply gonna do for final is blow dry it. And once it starts to dry, as you can see, you can also take a look and make sure that you've covered everything that you're looking to cover. Since it's a larger piece, it's always nice just to kind of run through and make sure that you got everything colored. For me, I see a couple of things I'd like to kind of fix. 
and this is the time that you can do that. So on any of your projects, you can do that as well. You're gonna do it, now is the time to do it. And again, do a final with the clear coat. Hot blow dryer. So now you can take your time, and again, you don't have to worry about putting it uh, too close or making it too hot. So, it'll be just fine. so now for final, what we're going to do is start to peel everything off. We should have a beautiful logo. Your finished product with border and your logo of choice. And again, we decided to do color, ready to go. So now we're gonna go ahead and take this and we're gonna throw it in my sun shower. One of the really nice things about decadence also is it actually will clean your feet. And of course you don't have to worry about lifting it off the drain because it'll, it'll drain right through that. So antimicrobial, so no bacteria, no mold, no fungus, anything like that. So perfect shower dip. Also hair and debris will collect on top and it actually won't go down into your drain. So very easy for cleaning. Turn the water on. Watch it do its job. As you can see now, I've gone ahead and I've taken the Sea Ray logo. Then we're gonna lay it right on top of the decadence. We've measured it out. We know this is about where the customer wants it, so we're going to lay it right here. What I'm going to do also is get some border tape just to mark it so I know exactly where everything is. Just like this. Before you start to peel off your logo, you want to get a credit card. You just want to run along these edges. And you want to make sure that they're, uh, they're pressed in as much as possible. Okay, just like before, we're going to go ahead and pull the 3M part off, leaving the actual logo that we're looking for but the sticky side that's what we're going to be sticking to the decadence as you can see the sticky side is ready to go this is what we're going to be putting against the decadence and of course as you saw earlier we're going to lay that down and then we're going to slowly peel this off and leave the logo as you can see i've got it stuck down and you want to put a lot of pressure on this start out slowly at first just to make sure that it gets all stuck down and then you really want to start working on the edges to make sure that everything stays down as you peel this back Definitely use a generous amount of pressure. Now all I simply do is, as you saw earlier, just take your time and peel it back. And as you can see, I'm just pulling really slowly and keeping it low. Every now and again, especially with the finer detailed uh, designs that you're gonna use, you might have issues like this where it'll actually crawl up on the paper with it. All you do is just simply pull it down, grab here, real easy, and continue to pull. Now that the logo's in place, it's just a matter of heating up the vinyl and making sure, especially around the edges where the logo is making contact with the decadence, that we have a nice, tight, secure fit. Now all I've done is I've cut some excess pieces from, like we talked about earlier, you never want to throw any of this uh, stuff away. And basically what I'm going to be doing is just taping this down so we don't get any overspray on the rest of the, of the map. Obviously, you don't want to cover the logo. And now all we do is follow the coloring process steps. That's spray on the ink, blow dry, spray on the clear coat, and blow dry. And it's done. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove all the excess that we don't need, basically, for overspray. And now we're going to see what our design reveals. Just in the unfortunate accident that you might get any kind of overspray on decadence, don't worry. As long as you catch it in time, let me show you how easy it is just to get rid of it. Okay, after you get the overspray, you want to use acetone or any kind of paint thinner, and you just want to wipe it on there. And once you get it off, which it is, then you want to maybe rinse it off just to make sure that it gets it all clean. But other than that, takes care of it, right back to it, isn't it?